Hey, what's going on everyone? Flick here. A few weeks ago, we looked back at one of my favorite series, the Liverpool career mode, and the response on that video was overwhelmingly positive. If you didn't happen to catch the Liverpool video, basically we imported the exact squad that we had in FIFA 16 into FIFA 20 and ran a simulation to see how that Liverpool squad would perform. Since I had so much fun making that video, I thought we would do it again today, but with a different career mode, this one being the West Ham United one from FIFA 16. I want to shout out RLS360 for motivating me to to revisit this series and if there are any other career modes you'd like me to take a look at just let me know down in the comment section below like the video if you like it subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and if you want to interact with me outside of youtube you can follow me on my socials but let's get things underway and revisit west ham this is the squad we managed to develop in three seasons with West Ham, and I have to say, this team brings back so many good memories, and this crew mode helped me grow my admiration for West Ham United. I still consider them one of my favorite teams in the Prem. Life works in some mysterious ways. While I was still in college, I went on a spring break trip to New York, and it was just after I completed this West Ham crew mode. Spencer Owen, or Spencer FC on YouTube, also happened to be in New York for that particular week, and I happened to meet him, and his favorite team is West Ham United, so we were able to bond a little bit over that, talk about football. In addition to that, my local club, the Seattle Sounders, happened to play a friendly against West Ham United that following summer, so West Ham just managed to find a way into my life that year, whether it be on FIFA or outside of FIFA. But anyways, we're off to quite a start here with our goalkeeper, Kepa Arizabalaga. We got him to an 87 overall rating, of course, with the help of player training and he was a big reason why we were able to achieve the things we did in this career mode at this point in time circa 2016 i don't think he was quite as high of a profile he was mostly known in the career mode scene but of course in the following years he's since moved to chelsea and made a name for himself at the left back position we have wendell who in this fifa was just a ridiculous left back especially for his rating you can see he was super quick and we were able to develop some of his defensive stats to make him a quality fullback, especially one to use in game. Unfortunately, in the years since, he's dropped down in his potential quite a bit, but still a solid player regardless. Riedewald will follow things up at the left center back position, and this guy was just incredible in FIFA 16. We signed him in season one and he was just so versatile. You can see from his positions, he could play center back, left back or CDM. For the most part, we used him at the center back position. It was just so fun to use in game. John Stones, I believe we brought in during season three just to bolster up our defense. Still playing for Everton at this time. And yeah, what else can I say? An 84 rated defender helped us out quite a bit. Sebastian Young, another signing that we made in season one and another player that in my opinion outplayed his overall rating. Ruben Neves will slot in at the center defense in mid position. He was still playing for Porto at this time and he was just as good then as he is now. A little bit more defensive minded in terms of his statistics, but still someone that's very good on the ball. At the left mid position was one of my favorite players, Ntep, an 82 rated left midfielder who had all the right stats in my opinion. He's got the four star, four star, high medium work rates, and even has that flair trait, which I like having in especially outside mid players. He's since become a free agent on FIFA 20 career mode. It's unfortunate to see his rating drop as much as it has, but it's nice to look back at when he was an 82 rated player for us. Finally, we have a player to talk about that is still on the West Ham United squad, Antonio. At this point, FIFA, he was 79 rated, and just like he is now, he could then play left mid, right mid, and striker. Again, another player that seemed to play much better in game than his stats might suggest. One of the marquee players of this squad was Dimitri Payet, an 84 rated center attacking mid. I'm not sure how we got him to as high of a rating as we did. Maybe we put him through some player training, but he just played so well for West Ham United. And he's even had a pretty good season uh, last year in Ligue 1 for Marseille. But yeah, what else can I say? Four star, four star, high medium work rates. Had incredible free kick stats, great dribbling stats, just a great player to use in game. Our striker partnership consisted of Abubakar and Aubameyang. We'll start with Aubameyang because he is the higher rated player, 87 rated, playing for Dortmund at this time. And unfortunately, he didn't have the four star skill moves that he has now, but he was a bit pacier then, as his stats suggest in FIFA now. He was the, the biggest signing of this career mode at 87 overall, and he helped us win the Premier League title in season three, winning the golden boot. And then Abubakar was kind of the supporting striker, was a really good player for us, uh, had the four star skill moves, three star weak foot, 82 rated, and we had a lot of players with the flair trait in this squad. There are also some key players in our substitutes and reserves. I want to cover them quickly. 
uh, beginning with a free agent goalkeeper that was just for a little bit of squad depth i don't think we ever use this akremi guy but you got some big names here like toliso the former captain for us uh mark noble lanzini another fun player to use in game mares before he got the big boost to his overall about shuaya 80 overall and then of course the zarate kid maro zarate 76 rated but he had the best technical stats and i think we used him a ton in season one scored a lot of goals for us some other west ham players appearing in the reserves we've got winston reed really good center back to use in game henry was a surprising player that reached a 72 overall Cresswell and samuelson i believe samuelson's actually converted to a striker now uh, in fifa 20 and then some really good substitutes here with hesse triore weigel sam byram matt miazga Orfa and Swanson, who no longer is in FIFA. I also remember developing a storyline with some of our Youth Academy players. I think we call this Magellan guy, Magellan the Explorer. I'm not sure the reasoning for that, but he was someone we signed in season one, 72 overall, had the four star, four star, and honestly, one of the better Youth Academy players that I remember finding in FIFA 16. Here's some of the overall accomplishments we made with West Ham. Some that come to mind was the Premier League title in season three, FA Cup winners for season one, season two, and season three, as well as EuroLeague winners in season two. But the big question now is if this West Ham United squad can achieve similar feats in a simulation. Let's hop over to FIFA 20 and see how they fare. We have the current default West Ham United squad on the left and our imported FIFA 16 squad on the right. When you look at these two teams side by side, you have to say our FIFA 16 squad does look better on paper. Granted, we had three seasons to make as many transfers as we wanted. The overall rating of these players are not going to be exactly the same as they were in FIFA 16. In fact, most of these players are going to have a higher overall rating in FIFA 20, but you guys can trust me that the individual stats are exactly the same. I think this squad could actually do well in a simulation, maybe even win the Premier League title. We have a high rated goalkeeper in Kepa at 89 overall, and we have a high rated attacker in Aubameyang at 90 overall. I think those two players are going to play a key role in how this squad performs. One point of concern about this imported squad is that we do not have a backup goalkeeper in the case that Kepa were to get injured. The backup that we had in FIFA 16 is no longer available in FIFA 20. So I've optioned to go to the free agents and I've signed a backup goalkeeper just in the case that Kepa gets injured. I don't see him starting over Kepa during any of the simulations. I find it amusing to look at where some of the current West Ham United players were in FIFA 16 for our career mode save. So I've went ahead and uh, modified the stats for these players as well and imported them from our FIFA 16 saves. Starting with Felipe Anderson, was playing for Lazio at the time. And I think he was on the radar, our most career mode players. He was a bit younger back then, uh, but still similar type of play style as he is right now. Very skillful, pretty quick on the wing and a solid player for Lazio. While Sebastian Aller started our FIFA 16 save with Utrecht, he did make the transfer over to Aston Villa and reached an 83 overall rating, pretty similar to his rating in FIFA 20. Fabianski was playing for Swansea at the time and he had a bit lower of an overall rating at 79, but he's been solid in the Premier League the last few years. No surprise to see him represented there. Jack Wilshere was one of the highest potential players in some of the older FIFAs, and I think that was still slightly the case in FIFA 16 had an 83 overall rating back then and he was still playing for Arsenal could play the center mid or the center defense in mid position he's now playing as more of a substitute for West Ham finally we have Zabaleta who at this point in our FIFA 16 save was 33 years old and still had an 82 overall rating for Manchester City but without further ado let's get into the simulation and see how we perform across all competitions I think there's a good likelihood that will win at least one trophy this year. I have good news in that I saw some late stage competitions appearing on my calendar. So I think chances are high that we've won at least one trophy this year. We'll start with the Premier League and begin scrolling up to see where we finished. Into the top six, we've got Manchester United, Arsenal in fifth. We've taken fourth with 89 points. That's not bad. Champions League for next season, Spurs finished with 91, Manchester City with 97. And of course, we've got Liverpool up top with 102 points. All things considered, I think that's a solid performance. It was always going to be an uphill battle 
to win the Premier League over a strong Liverpool side. Looking at some of the top goal scorers, we're going to give Aubameyang the golden boot, although he was joint top with Mane, but he does get that number one ranking in game. I'm going to take it. Uh, for assists, we've got Aubameyang again popping up in the top five with nine assists, and then clean sheets, we have Kepa in sixth. I think it's only right that we've managed to win the FA Cup over Chelsea. We won it in all three seasons of our FIFA 16 career mode, so it just had to happen. Not a bad performance by us in the Carabao Cup, reaching the quarterfinals, only losing to Manchester City 0-2. They went on to win the competition. When it comes to goal contributions, it really was between two players, our strikers, Obama Young and Abubakar. You had to expect Obama Young to be the top goal scorer uh, with 29 goals across 38 Premier League matches. For assists, it also went to Aubameyang. Neves popping up with seven assists and then clean sheets. I'm curious to see how Kepa did. I think if we had a higher rated defense in front of him, he might have had more clean sheets. But to be honest, I expected more than 16 clean sheets for an 89 overall goalkeeper. That's going to wrap things up for today's simulation. We've at least won one trophy with this FIFA 16 West Ham United squad. And let me know in the comments section below if you do want me to revisit any other career modes in the future, because I really do enjoy this, uh, this style of video where we import stats from previous FIFAs. But until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you all again soon.